Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chell from Chell Loves Wine. Today I'm going to be talking all about sparkling wines. New Year's Eve is literally coming up in days. Everybody likes to have a bottle of bubbly. Everybody has different budgets though. So I'm gonna go through all the different types of sparkling wine there is and then give you guys some suggestions of wines that you can drink on New Year's Eve. So first, sparkling wine is a very broad category. Anything that's bubbly can be a sparkling wine. So that ranges from pet nats to champagne to cava to sect like everything can be a sparkling wine so our main players are champagne which is from champagne france then you have prosecco which is the italian sparkling wine made in prosecco we have cava which is made in spain we also have just sparkling wines a california sparkling wine there are australian sparkling wines there are German sparkling wines called Sect. Then there's also Cremants, which is one of my personal favorites. Cremants are made in France. They're made like champagne, but not in champagne. So we can't technically call them that. All right, guys, I'm going to start with all the champagnes and then work my way through to the different types of um, bubblies that we have. So first up, this is one of my favorite champagnes in the whole world. So this is a sparkling rosé champagne from Laurent Perrier. This is their Cuvée Rosé. The bottle's stunning, the label's stunning. This is one of my favorite champagnes of all time. And you can drink sparkling rosé on New Year's Eve too. You don't have to drink just a brute sparkling. You can have rosé 100%. This one retails for a hundred bucks. You could probably find it cheaper depending on where you live, uh, but it's a hundred percent worth every single penny. So if you have the budget to spend on a bottle of bubbly, highly recommend this Laurent Perrier Cousie Rosé. It is to die for. So for a plain brute champagne, I highly recommend Piper Hide Sick. This is one of my favorites. Number one, the price point is 45 bucks. 45 bucks for a delicious champagne. It is actual champagne, it is from France. The label is sexy, it's very cool. This is also the official champagne of the Academy Awards until 2020. They're very, very cool. On the flip side, they also have a really sexy rosé. This is their Sauvage Rosé Sauvage. And this one retails for 65, so a little more expensive but it's gorgeous. The label is bright pink and it's to die for. So definitely find Piper Heidsick. They're available almost anywhere and they're a really, really great option for an affordable champagne for New Year's. And the last champagne I have is one that I just got in and I tasted it last week and it was absolutely delicious. This one also only retails for $42 and this is Champagne Guimino. I'm very bad at pronouncing French names, so I'm gonna assume that's right. This one's only 42 bucks. It is absolutely delicious. I drank this before I went to Carl's Christmas party last weekend, and it was to die for. I couldn't stop. I had three glasses before the party. This one is available on lacave.com. I think that's the only place you can get it. So those are just the four champagnes that I currently have in-house, but there are obviously a hundred different good champagne brands that you could go for. Like it just depends on your budget, but there are higher priced ones that are delicious from Ruinar and Tattinger, Charles Heidsick, Krug, Dom Perignon, Vouv Clicquot. Like there are so many different options that you can get. It just depends on your budget and what you are looking for. Okay, next what I have in is Prosecco. So I actually only have a couple little bottles of Prosecco in from my fam at La Marica. Look at how cute. Um, so these are their 187 La Marica Prosecco. So Prosecco is made in Italy in the Prosecco region. It is made with the Glira grape. This is a tank fermentation method. So it's made in stainless steel tanks. And that's why you don't get the brioche notes you get from champagne because it's made differently. So that's why it's also less expensive. It takes less time to make. Overall though, this is a very affordable, great option if you want something bubbly. Also, these bottles are adorable and they're like personal, like you just pass them out at the party. Everyone gets one for New Year's. I think that's a brilliant idea. These little puppies are seven bucks a piece or you get them in a cute little three pack for 20 or you can get the standard 750 milliliter bottle for 20 bucks as well. So definitely pick up your little Lamarca bottles. If you're having a small party, this would be perfect to just bring with you. Or if you only wanna drink a little bit of Prosecco, like you get a little baby bottle and stick it in your purse and take it with you. This is, this is your guy, this is your guy. Okay. Okay, moving on to Cremant. Cremant is one of my favorites. This is a Cremant d'Alsace, which means it's made in Alsace, France, made like champagne, but not champagne. Very affordable option. This bottle, I believe, retails for $21, which is half the amount of money that the champagnes were that I was talking about. So this is going to give you the same kind of vibe, like toasty, bready, 
delicious, but it's lighter. It's not made in champagne. So it's just kind of like, I don't want to call it a knockoff champagne because it's not because Cremant is a beautiful thing in its own, but is essentially what it is. Uh, these are absolutely delicious. This one is from Doff and Iron. I'm really bad at pronouncing names, guys. I'm so sorry. They also make a rosé, which is 19 bucks, And then the standard brute is 21 Super affordable. This is a really great option. If you want the champagne idea on a cheaper budget, definitely go for the Cremant. Okay, I'm really sad I don't have any Cava on hand, but Cava is delicious. There is a black sexy bottle you can get called Freshenay. Uh, which retails for like 15 bucks. Cava is like very bright and acidic and tart and it's from Spain and it's like a beautiful, just like refreshing, sparkling wine. So if you don't want bready, you don't want sweet, maybe go for a cava because it's just gonna be like bright and like perfect. So now I just have a bunch of sparkling wines that I wanna just show to you guys. They're from all over the place. So this is a sparkling wine out of Sonoma County from J Vineyards and Wine. It's called their Cuvie 20, it's 38 bucks. Very sexy bottle, very cool wine. This is a um, example of a California sparkling wine. They range in price, they range in quality. This one is very good quality and the price reflects that and it's going to be an awesome option if you want something sleek and sexy to bring with you to New Year's. We also have a Ferrari. Rosé sparkling wine. This is an Italian sparkling wine. It is not made in Prosecco, so it cannot be called Prosecco, but it is still made in Italy. Ferrari, I mentioned them in my Thanksgiving video because they make really great, like, standard sparkling wines. They are delicious, they are easy. This is their Rosé, very sexy label. Very excited to try this one. Okay, and the last sparkling wine I have is my replacement for Andre or any of that other stuff you're going to think about buying. This one is a $15 bottle of sparkling wine. That's as low as I really recommend going guys, because other than that, you're just drinking like carbonated juice. It's just like, man. Okay. This one is from Gruet. This is actually a New Mexico based sparkling wine company. This is a Brute. It is an American sparkling wine. Very classic. It's got a cork, so it's okay by me. It's only $15. This is a good option. So if you're really tight on your budget and you're just looking for some sparkly for New Year's Eve, go with something like this. It is American sparkling. It is good quality for what you're getting. And the bottle still looks nice. Like it's a good, it's a good option. Okay guys, those are some of the wines that I'm gonna be drinking on New Year's Eve. Right now I have 19 bottles of sparkling wine in my apartment. So I think we might be able to make it through New Year's without needing more, but you never know. I hope you have an amazing New Year's Eve, amazing New Year. I will see you guys in the New Year.